All right, welcome to Cosmic Reach Community Roundup for Tuesday, May 7th, all the way through Monday, May 20th. The most user-facing bullet points are added wooden crates, added gravel, added limestone, added gabbro stone. You can now build at any height above y equals zero, which is a big one. That's part of the infinite height feature. Inventory and hotbar are now saved. Items are now limited to a maximum stack size of 999. And then some other fixes and small tweaks for people on laptops. And potentially some stuff for modding as well, such as added block entity logic with saving and loading. We're going to go ahead and take a look at some of these more user-facing features in the game right now. All right, so the first thing you'll notice when I come into the game here on a new world is the hotbar has new graphics. I kind of like it. It's it definitely feels more space themed and then you can see the yellow part that gets highlighted as you move your scroll wheel around. If you press the E button on your keyboard then you get more of an inventory showing up above that. And let's try to grab some blocks. So I'm in obviously creative because that's the only mode in this game right now. If I grab some uh, aluminum blocks you get 100 of them and if you place them they start to go down like you would expect. If I press Q they all get dropped. If I middle click, I'll get some more aluminum blocks and it'll be reset to 100. If I open up my inventory, I can do the shift click, which moves all of them from your inventory to your hotbar. I can do right click, which divides them in half. I can click on the block and then right click each position to drop just one block in each slot. And I'm sure these functions will get more sophisticated as time goes on. For example, one thing I'm not able to do is just hold down right click and then be able to drag the different individual blocks across each of the different slots. But once again, this is just a first implementation of this kind of stuff. So pretty cool. You'll also notice in the options menu, we have an option for renderer. You can change from batched to naive. And then if you return from the menu, it seems like we have a little glitch going on here. So I'm going to reset my world really quick. Okay, back again. So let's look at some of the blocks that were added. The first one is the wooden crate. So if I place this down and then I right click on it, we can see that the crate itself has entities inside of it or has an inventory. And if I grab some of these aluminum blocks and I drag them over to the crate's inventory and I drop them and then I get out of the inventory and then I go back into the inventory, you can see they get saved. So now we have blocks that can save entities inside of them. Pretty cool. You can kind of feel how this is all leading up to a, a nice survival update. Next up, we have this stony looking block right here. And if you look in the top left of the screen at the debug menu, you can see that it says stone underscore gabbro, which I've never heard of before. I'm going to have to look that up. We also have this one right here, which is stone underscore gravel. And then we have this lighter one, which is called stone underscore limestone. I got to say that I like the textures a lot on these. They add a lot of variety. So we have a lighter block now. We have a different color of stone instead of just seeing the same stuff all the time. And then we have this more gravelly looking one. I think these were very well drawn. I think the the uh, different colors, the different shades of brown and gray are nice and they work well together. In my opinion, the crate could use a little bit of work, but no big deal. If you look in the top left of the screen, you'll see that my position is currently Y equals 64. I'm going to try to build above the previous height limit, which I believe was 255. All right, so we're approaching it right now. We're at 254, 255, and we can go above that. So yeah, you can just keep on building upwards as pretty much, I think pretty much as far as you want, really. Obviously, I'm not going to test it up to like 1000, but I have seen screenshots on the Discord of people building up to level 1000, and there haven't been any problems. And I messaged Final Four Reach about this in the Discord, and he said it is the start of the Infinite World Heights feature, but he also also intends for you to be able to build below y equals zero down to basically negative infinity I guess you would call that but that's not implemented yet right now you can just go up as high as you want and then the world height stops it cuts you off when you hit y equals zero so if you're looking to make some super tall structures this is the update for you all right back to the discord we have a server banner now if you look in the top left of the screen it says cosmic reach just a nice little aesthetic change I guess I'll also talk about this because I didn't make a community roundup in time to talk about it initially while it was still going on, but we had a build a nostalgic lighthouse challenge, building challenge, for whoever wants to participate and build something interesting on this nostalgic islands world generation. Essentially all it was is building a lighthouse for fun, nothing too complicated, very simple. I made a video about it. It lasted for about a week and we got, I think, 13 submissions, which is great. Nice to see all the different buildings. And I'm making the video going over the results of that now. Thank you everybody for submitting. I think I'll try to do this more often because it's really fun to have some kind of community challenge going on all the time so the game doesn't get too stale while people are waiting for future updates. And that's really about it. Not much to talk about despite so much time passing. But this update right here was really the most exciting thing. Just a whole bunch of 
stuff that's going to play well into the upcoming survival update, which is what I'm most excited about. So thank you very much for watching.